And the action continues on Talking Money with Jeff Tarbell. Yes, yes. How you doing? Good morning, everybody. I think I'm ready. I think I've got all my uh, issues resolved. Now I can get on with the show. We're now that you powered down. Far away from getting all of your <laughs> well, I, yeah, I know. I mean, issues for the moment. I was showing John the video there of the uh, of the dozer incident. He, it's as classic as you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I wasn't. I wasn't uh, over, overselling that, was Unbelievable. I? Unbelievable. <laughs> it was a mess. Hey, how you doing? 339-1140, 1-800-920-1140. You can text us at 44-1140 if you would like. Does the tow truck driver, does he listen to the show too? Because lately you've been running into a oh, lot every, of people. I know, everybody. Everybody. No, I don't know. He didn't. I didn't say my name. I was a little embarrassed. <laughs> I just said, my name is John Farrer. How you doing? <laughs> he said, that's not your credit card says. I stole it. So we, did we, get a, we got a winner to our quiz question, which was, so the, the guys, that's not the highest piece of art ever paid for but the, right. for a guy who's alive for a know. living artist okay, yeah gotcha. and it, it's it's amazing i mean it's just this uh very vibrant dude looks like a sixth four, grader did it six by eight 34.2 million dollars on the wall uh abstract painting by gerard richter and the owner of that is eric clapton oh. or was eric clapton he's a seller huh he was a seller yeah Pretty interesting. And you cash in on his thirty-four dollars. Now, if the guy dies, does it become twice as worth, twice as much, or half as much? Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Absolutely. What he said. And we did get a winner to that, so we'll send out some Jim Boy's tacos. Thank you very much. That leaves a couple phone lines open at three three nine eleven forty. If you'd like to jump in, look at this. This was. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Hope you're not watching your IRA this week. Not a good week. We're in recovery, right? Oh, that reminds me. By the way. I already voted. I voted by mail. So please stop targeting your ads to me. I don't want to hear any radio, TV, or print. I now, think... I'm sure if you've already refinanced and you hear my ad, you're like, please stop targeting me for your ads. I already <laughs> refinanced. That's a different. I already got your stuff in the mail. That's right. Yesterday and the day before. So but I already voted. So there, I'm set. I'm done. I'm, done. I'm listening to your propaganda. But look Just at this. Just because you voted doesn't mean you can't vote again. That's true. Voting once, vote often. I, I'm, I'm with that. That, that is true. I, I can go in and do that. So I, I, that's a good point. I'll vote five times more. The um, and, and and honestly, there was probably uh, twelve or thirteen different things to vote for. I think I voted for like four. Like some some of them, I just like I didn't you know like a lot of the local stuff, your school board and your different things. I don't know who these people are. So I'll let somebody who pays attention to that vote because I didn't. I just I just didn't vote. I just wrote my name in all of them. Me. The vote king. For, I vote for me. I'm voting for myself as king. Wasn't that king? king? It is king. Yeah, I have a, a campaign slogan, but Chris is going to get that together. But look at this. This is the um, the recovery that will not stop recovering. I guess these are the companies that were. So the Dow was down. This is Friday's largest one day drop since June, 205 points. Listen to these companies that reported earnings this week. This was earnings week for a lot of companies. And these are the companies that reported earnings in decline or significantly less than expected. Maybe you've heard of a couple of these people. Uh, McDonald's, GE, Chipotle, or Chipotle, Microsoft, AMD, Google. Uh, existing home sales were down. That one's not really, I don't think that one has to do with the economy as much as it has to do with there's no product to sell. Yeah. So I don't, I don't hold that one. And jobless claims were back up. Remember two weeks ago? <laughs> When jobless claims were like way down, they're like, they're like, no way, that's not that good. The state of California, as an example, had to revise their numbers because they screwed up the first time. So whenever you hear these massive ups or downs, somebody just didn't you know, push the wrong, they fat fingered something on the computer. Right. So that was not a good week in, in the stock market. And what's interesting is that bonds didn't do that great this week either. And our interest rates actually came up a little bit for the for the week, which is un- which is a turn from how it usually is. Usually if one of them's doing real well, the other one doesn't do so well. But So you would think if stocks and those yeah. accounts were off that bonds would have done better, and they didn't. They just got the mass buying by the U.S. And that's... Just, yep. So there's just uh, it was just not, not, not a great week there overall. So that was interesting to see how um, those worked out. Which So I always talk about politics when people tell you things are going better than they, they are. You, you can you know pull my hair and tell me you love me, but... At the end of the day, my stock portfolio is still down lower, and you can't you can't fake the num- these numbers. I mean, the companies are not making the money that they even they expected to make. Well, and and with the stock market rising over the last several weeks, just going, 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 it's kind of like okay, when's it gonna 
happen. And yet here's the here's the interesting part. So that that's a report backwards. You look at the September snapshot, which they call U.S. retail and restaurant sales, and uh, auto and parts dealers were up 1.3%. Gasoline was up 25 duh, just because I won't even get into that. Uh, restaurants and bars were up about a half percent. Uh, internet sales were up almost 2%. You know, building and garden, clothing, and electronics. So they're all up over August. And consumer confidence seems to be up a little bit, too. So it's funny. It's almost counterintuitive to what's going on. The companies are reporting less, lesser income than they should, and yet these numbers are up. So I'm not sure. Maybe we just haven't caught up to the, the – you know, our, our activity hasn't caught up to the companies yet. I don't know. But the, you just it's very difficult. And this is the – the fun part about being in politics, if you're a politician, you could find, I could find anything in these articles I wanted to support what I want to say. Definitely. And so if I'm, if I'm in office now, I could say, uh, consumer confidence is up and look at all these things that are up and the economy is doing great. And I probably be right. And if I was running against the person that was in office and I could say, look at all these companies that are losing their rear end and they're having terrible months and I'd be right. So you can come in and with a straight face and lie through your teeth <laughs> on, on either side, which is the beauty about being and king. Make, yep, and if you're king, point. if you're king, you don't have to. You could just say, "Shut up and sit down." I'm king. That was Hi, my name's Jeff. There's my marketing. That's my advertising for when I run for office. Save that because I don't want to have. It's expensive to produce good ads, and I want to just keep that one on on order there. So this is what this is the part that I think. Um, oh, you know what? I was going to do this real quick. Speaking of your art, before we get too too far away from your your uh, Eric Clapton story. So get this. Why buy when you can steal? Absolutely. Yep. So that's what maybe maybe that should be rule number. Let's see, rule number one is marry Oprah, um, or you can marry one. So that'll be maybe like rule four. Why buy when you can steal? So in the um, city of Rotterdam, which is a uh, in Holland, I believe, or somewhere in the Dutch the Dutch area, there was a little new art display with some gentleman. Some artists you might have heard of, Matisse, Picasso, Monet, about $25 million worth of their work on the wall, formerly on the wall. Someone broke in the other night and stole all of them, $25 million worth of art. Some pieces that that have never been seen in public in many, 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 many years. They actually convinced this one family to bring out some pieces out of their house. Wow. (laughs) Yeah. So Now, now, Now you stole it, right? What do you? You just keep running. I mean, what that's, are you going to do with it? That is. A, this I'm is. I'm going to put it in my basement and this is say, exactly, try and tell somebody that that's really worth ten million dollars and Picasso painted it. But don't tell anybody you saw it. And this is this is my point exactly. You can't if if there's only one art piece like that in the world and you got it, like like you say, if you if you're if that is the what what makes your life complete, and you stole it, and you put it in your office, and you look you sit there and look at it every day, and then I guess okay okay. But if you try, who do you what do you do, put it on Craigslist? Found a Matisse, you know the, uh, the this one piece here, and, and this is what strikes me. There's three hundred thousand pieces of art on the FBI's art loss register right now. Three hundred thousand pieces. Wow. That are floating around somewhere that everybody knows what they look like and everybody knows they're stolen, but they're still floating around. Three hundred thousand pieces. So that's got to tell you that there's there's got to be some some market behind the scenes where people just trade and buy stolen artwork. I mean, there has to be. Otherwise, why steal it? Yeah. Steal gold. I mean, at least you could melt it and make it look like gold. <laughs> you could move it on to somebody else. But if you're going to steal like one piece of, of art, either everybody's going to go, John, that's really not a piece of art, you idiot. Or, John, why did you show us that, you idiot? Now we're going to tell the whole FBI. Now, now I would think there would be cameras. I would think there would be a it's lot got, of security. That's got to be an inside job. Got to be. Got to be. That's crazy. We've got to take another break. Three three nine eleven forty. Let's. We got a couple phone lines if you want to jump in here today too. Three three nine eleven forty one eight hundred nine two zero eleven forty. Speaking, of, this is not a quiz question, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway because I think it's just hilarious. So th- before we before we break here, this gentleman uh, does it give me his name here? Yes, Lorenzo Maggiore, M A G G I O R E Maggiore. Is that right? Okay. So Lorenzo developed a product. He put it on the internet. He sold 21,400 of them in a week. He had, to st- he had to, literally had to pull his, his product off because he said, there's no way I can make that many of them. So what is Lorenzo selling? I don't it's know. 30, I, want, I want to start making some of it's that. It's 30 bucks, $30. Wow. Lorenzo is selling. This is it's, it's is pre- it cheap I'm, or expensive? It's $30. 30, 30 bucks. 30 bucks a piece. What he, wow. He created a little, a little plastic gun 
that shoots the equivalent of a pinch of salt. Okay, so it, it actually loads like a, a, I mean, literally a pinch of salt in this little air gun, and it, sh- and it and it loads in the air gun. And what does he use with the air gun? He kills flies with it. <laughs> This is the kind of stuff you learn on this show. He, 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 it's basically a fly. It's a it's a fly, modern day fly swatter, fly gun, and it is so effective that that it, it's one, considered one of the greatest fly killing machines ever. It's a thirty dollars, basically a thirty dollars air gun that shoots a, a little pinch of salt for thirty bucks. That he, is pretty cool. And he cannot, he literally, he cannot keep up with the orders. He can't sell them fast enough, so he's going to try to go out. So there you go, Lorenzo Maggiore. Does it give me a name of the um, the fly gun? Pump action shotgun. Is, is that, salt included in your purchase? I don't. I think you got to get your own salt. Uh, he's the creator of the plastic pump action shotgun that blasts pests with table salt. He calls it bug assault. There you go. Look it up. Bug <laughs> nice. a salt. And he will take a fly clean out that, for 30 bucks. That is cool. See, why don't I think of this kind that of stuff? That is I cool. I, don't know. I got to get up every Saturday morning at, at 9 o'clock, and, and I got to think of the bug assault. So look it up if you'd like, and if you actually have one. I'm sure down here at the studio you could find tons of things to shoot at. So we got to take another break here. You got a quiz question for us or no? I do, sure. Okay. So uh, let's digress a little more and talk about the nation of smokers. There's a, a population out there that uh, smoke 390 billion cigarettes a year. Casino goers. 390 billion cigarettes a year uh-huh. or 2,786 cigarettes smoked per capita. That's wow. a lot of that's a lot of smoke. It's a lot of huffing and puffing. You'd probably die going across the street to get your donut with that. Yes. So which country is it? Which country? Which country has the most smokers per capita? At two thousand seven hundred and eighty six or three hundred and ninety billion cigarettes a year. Wow. And they're all at the same casino at the same weekend. Three three nine eleven forty. One eight hundred nine two zero eleven forty. You can text us at forty four eleven forty. This is talking money. We are absolutely have the most useless information this morning I have ever seen. But that's only bug man. assault. How bug, you, the, the the bug, dot, bug assault is definitely you're going to take that. To, you're going to you're going to learn it, love it, live it. The bug assault. The problem is you can't get one. Now I'm more with you. Got this Dodge Joe Dirt hat on with uh-huh. his like fancy Dodge Charger that it, it's I'm renting. Counterintuitive. I'm it's renting. Just funny. I'm actually not even renting. I'm borrowing. This is talking money. We'll be right back, Jack. <laughs> 